Hello, my name is Matt Buchholz, Tech Support Manager here at ACI. Today, I'd like to address one common question that our tech support team receives on how to wire multiple temperature sensors in order to take an average of multiple zones. Common applications include taking the temperature of two, three, or four rooms to an output running back to a single input on your building's BMS controller. Now there are two methods to take an average output from your temperature sensors. The method you choose will depend on the type of sensor you have, either resistive or analog. First, let's take a look at our thermistors, which has a resistive output. In the following examples, I will be using sensors with the 10K Type 2 CP thermistors. ACI does have products available with other thermistors such as our 10K Type 3 AN, but we'll use CP part numbers here in our examples. To average two rooms, you'll need two X slash two CP dash R dash SCR. If you look at the drawing, each unit will have two sensors wired in series on the board. This means that you'll have two 10K ohm thermistors that will equal 20K ohms at 77 degrees F. When connecting to your controller, wire them in parallel with each other using the same input. When you wire them in parallel, 20K and 20K will equal 10K at 77 degrees F. To average three rooms, you will need two A slash CP dash R and one X slash two CP dash R dash SCR. The X slash two CP dash R dash SCR will be placed in room number one. The A slash CP dash R in room number two, and also another A slash CP dash R in room number three. The X slash two CP dash R dash SCR will have two sensors wired in series on our board. This means that you'll have two 10K ohm thermistors that will equal 20K ohms at 77 degrees F. Room number two and number three will be wired in series. When connecting to your controller, wire them in parallel with each other using the same input. Note that room number two and room number three must be wired in series. The easiest way to do this is to run one two conductor cable to each of the sensors. Then tie both of the wires connected in series together at the electrical panel where the controller is located. And to tie both of the other sensor terminals to the sensor input on the controller. To average four rooms, you'll need four A slash CP dash R. Place one A slash CP dash R in each room. Room number one and number two will be wired in series. Room number three and number four will also be wired in series. Each series connection means that you'll have two 10K ohm thermistors that will equal 20K ohms at 77 degrees F. When connecting to your controller, wire them in parallel with each other using the same input. The easiest way to do this is to run one two conductor cable to each of the sensors. Then tie both wires connected in series together at the electrical panel where the controller is located and tie both of the other sensor terminals to the sensor input on the controller. Now let's take a look at an application using ACI's temperature transmitters which provide a milliamp or a VDC analog output. We cannot use the same series parallel combination that we use for thermistors when dealing with analog sensors. For this application, we'll use ACI 6-in-1 ISO. This interface device accepts up to six analog inputs, providing an average of those inputs as a single output. The outputs of the temperature transmitters are wired into the 6-in-1 ISO inputs. There is one main output that is wired into the BMS controller analog input. The output signal is optically isolated from the input signals. 
The 6-in-1 ISO is not limited to just temperature 4 to 20 milliamp signals. Any device with an analog output, such as ACI's RH, pressure, gas, and current sensors, can also be used with the 6-in-1 ISO. Additional functions of the 6-in-1 ISO include highest, lowest, sum, and difference. The products and applications we've discussed today are great solutions when your analog inputs on your building's BMS controller are maxed. Thanks for watching the video. Feel free to contact us with any questions regarding these or any other ACI product by calling 888-967-5224 or hit the chat button located on any of ACI's web pages found at workaci.com. Offering a great selection of temperature sensors and interface devices is just another way ACI is engineering a better sensor solution.